hello everyone welcome to this video so guys in our previous video we have completed this uh, prepared base model okay so we have written everything uh, as python script uh, so in this video actually i'm going to start uh, with a new stage okay which is nothing but prepare callbacks okay uh, so if you have already worked with uh, like uh, image classification okay so i think you know we also used to uh, prepare the callbacks okay so what is callbacks actually so callbacks is nothing but like we uh, define some of the uh, like parameters during training suppose whenever it will be training it will log everything okay so, suppose there is a concept uh, in tensorflow called tensorboard so uh, it will log everything in the tensorboard so that uh, whenever we'll be running that tensorboard okay we can see every log like uh, what was the like epochs number okay what was the loss at that point of time what was the accuracy so basically actually we can track everything okay by uh, seeing that uh, like this tensorboard graph okay and uh, we can define like uh, lots of callbacks like we can also define model checkpoints okay suppose every uh, iteration okay it will save uh, uh, like checkpoints of your model and at the last okay it will figure out the best uh, like checkpoint model and it will save it okay so that's how actually we can set uh, various kinds of call callbacks during training uh but if you're not uh like setting it setting these callbacks it's completely fine okay uh, even actually it will work fine but uh but it's a good practice actually whenever you are uh, trying to like train any misclassification problem statement at the time just try to set these callbacks okay so it will help you to like you can say monitor your training okay everything you can track here so that's why actually i always suggest uh, these callbacks so that's why we'll be creating these callbacks separately okay so guys uh, for this actually what i'm going to do i'm going to take one jupyter notebook file here because uh, in this video I'm, I'm going to show you the notebook experiment so if uh, everything is working fine uh, in this notebook okay then i will be uh, writing everything as python script okay as as i did already okay uh, like uh, from our previous video so what i will do i will uh, take one file so i'll come to my resource folder okay so here let's take one file so i'll just name this file name as st underscore zero three dot ip unb okay so this is the file i'll be taking so let's take one markdown first of all i will remove this thing yeah so i'll name this uh our notebook as prepare uh prepare callbacks okay yeah so this is the uh stage name uh we're gonna do okay so i'll remove this and let's take one new cell here yeah and i will also select the kernel yeah so the same uh, process actually i'm going to follow here so the process actually i'm uh, i'm following okay uh, from uh, from very scratch so first of all i will uh, like uh, change my directory uh, suppose uh, now it is in like resource folder so if i show you uh, first of all let me import a OS. now if i just write pwd so you will see i'm inside resource folder okay so what i need to do i need to go back to this uh, root uh, like project folder which is nothing but cnn classifier okay so that's why i just need to write this code uh, change directory okay so it will basically take me uh, just uh, one step before okay now if i show you now see i'm inside cnn classifier so the first thing i, I just uh, need to do i need to define my entity okay so let me define my entity so the same same way actually i'm going to define my entity so let me do it but before uh, defining the entity i think you remember First of all you need to change inside my config.yml okay because if i show you uh, in our workflow we define first of all you need to upgrade inside my config.yml okay then i will be upgrading my mtt so let me define this thing so for this actually i already prepared my callbacks related configuration so this is the call callbacks related configuration and this is nothing but this is the same thing so inside artifacts it will create another uh, folder called prepare callbacks okay inside callbacks uh it will save this tensorboard like uh like you can say callbacks okay tensor tensorboard logs so it will create another folder called tensorboard logs directory okay inside this uh prepare callbacks inside artifacts then it will create another folder called checkpoint model file path okay so here if you see checkpoint directory basically uh, this would be your final model okay see after training okay after training uh like uh it will figure out the best model okay like fr from that and it will save that model so i will save that uh, model okay uh, with the name of model.h5 okay inside my checkpoint directory okay so these two folder i just only need to create okay and here if you see here uh, this is a folder but here actually i'm also defining one file okay so this thing i just need to handle whenever i'll be creating the folder okay so as of now we have already prepared this uh, callbacks okay callbacks related configuration now i will uh, come to my notebook 
So first of all, let's uh, define this entity. So this is my entity, guys. So here, if you see, uh, I'm just giving this class name as uh, prepare callbacks configuration. So as I already written here, okay. So the same uh, stays I am following, but I'm just uh, changing the name. And uh, first of all, I'm taking the root directory. So here, if you see, first of all, it will uh, like take the root directory, okay. Uh, then actually, it will take this uh, TensorBoard root log directory, which is nothing but this one, okay. Then uh, it will take this checkpoint model file path, okay, which is nothing but this one, okay. So that's actually we are already uh, like defining these are the like the entity. I think you already know, okay. That's why I'm just uh, going a little bit fast. Now once uh, our entity declaration is done, so let me execute this cell. Now what I need to do, I need to uh, import these are the library. So let me import. Okay. Now I just need to uh, define my configuration manager. Okay. So we have already defined configuration manager for this uh, prepare based model. Now here actually I'll only define uh, for my prepare callbacks. Okay. So let me do it. So first of all, I will define my configuration manager uh, class. Okay. Inside that I'm just reading my uh, this uh, config. Okay. Config dot uh, config dot yaml and params dot yaml and I'm creating the directory. Okay. I'm creating this root directory. Okay. As you can see here. So basically it will create this uh, artifex. Okay. Artifex root. Okay. From this. Uh, uh, like you can say configuration now i just need to define my uh here if you see i define my get prepare a base model config okay this is the configuration now similar wise i will also create for my prepare uh callbacks related configuration okay so here what i'm doing i'm just uh like here if you see i'm just uh, reading the path okay so here one thing actually i'm doing as i already told you uh here if you see this thing is a uh, okay path but this thing is not a path so here actually i am also defining uh one uh like you can say file okay so to handle this thing there is one method inside this voice okay called dir names okay if you just read it so it will only return this uh folder directory okay folder directory only and it will ignore this uh, this file okay with any extension so that thing actually i'm just reading and after that i'm creating the folder okay let's see create di directories okay so i'm just first of all creating my model checkpoint directory okay which is nothing but uh, this directory i'm first of all creating and after that i'm creating my tensorbot root di directory okay which is nothing but this directory i'm creating okay so to show you this thing uh, i think let me give you one example so i'll take a new cell so first of all let me import OS. okay so let me show you here only so let's uh write west dot path dot uh dir okay dir name okay now suppose inside that you have one uh directory suppose x y okay then you have uh some file called z dot txt okay so now if i execute this cell okay see it is only returning this folder directory only okay it is ignoring this file okay so the similar thing actually i'm doing here here if you see uh okay so I, this thing i'm just passing and it will only return uh till this point okay it, it, this thing actually it will ignore so that's how actually i'm creating this two folder okay so once i have created this two folder i'm just uh, calling my prepare callbacks entity okay prepare callbacks entity and i'm passing all of this uh, configuration okay all of this configuration one by one first of all i'm giving my root directory then i'm giving my tensor board uh, root directory okay then i'm providing my uh, checkpoints model file path okay once everything is done i'm returning my callbacks okay that's it so i hope this thing is clear okay now what i i need to do if i go to my previous notebook my uh, configuration manager uh, we have already defined now i need to uh, prepare my components okay now let's prepare my components so first of all let me import uh, some of the libraries okay so these are the libraries are needed i will initialize first of all one class called prepare callbacks okay so this is my component prepare callbacks and here i am uh, calling my prepare callbacks configuration and here i am initializing my configuration okay so basically it will take this prepare callbacks configuration okay now inside that i will define one method called get tensorboard checkpoint callbacks okay so this is going to be my final uh method so this method actually i will call uh so this is the method and inside that if you see i'm calling again two method okay so inside that i'm again calling two method okay here if you see i'm calling create tensorboard callbacks okay and create checkpoint callbacks but this 
two method I have been defined. Okay. And one thing you, you have already noticed, I think here, I'm not giving any parenthesis. Okay. See, whenever we call any method, okay, from any class, we define this parenthesis. Okay. But here I'm not giving any parenthesis because I have defined this uh, method. Okay. As my property. Okay. Property, uh, like you can say method. I, if you are already familiar with object detection programming, okay, I think you know what is property. Okay. If you just assign a property decorator on top of any, you can say method. So we, we, we can only so we can only call that method name okay like that only so it it is going to be hidden method okay and it is going to be as property so i don't need to provide this parenthesis again and again okay so let me show you so first of all let me create this create our uh, tensor board callbacks okay so so guys uh, this is the first method i have prepared called uh, create a uh, tensor board callbacks okay so it will basically create your tensor board callback so okay so here if you see i'm giving as a decorator okay and this is a hidden method so basically i'm creating one timestamp okay uh, like you can say folder first of all then here if you see i'm calling tv dot keras callbacks dot tensor board okay and this uh, this thing actually takes your uh like log directory okay so here i'm preparing my log directory here if you see first of all i am joining with my tensor board root directory okay so this is my uh, tensor board root directory so this is the directory and inside that i am creating one timestamp folder okay so this is the timestamp i am preparing okay and here if you see this is the timestamp i am just giving okay and uh, before the timestamp i am just writing one more string called tb log at and here i am providing my timestamp okay so now what is happening let me uh, show you here only okay so basically what is happening so let me show you here only so i think this will, this would be clear so first of all i will import time okay now uh now let me copy this thing timestamp so the timestamp for uh, format actually i'm following first of all i'm giving year okay then i'm giving month then i'm giving debt then i'm giving hours minutes and seconds okay that's how i'm defining now let me show you how it will create it so let's say this is your timestamp okay now if i print timestamp so if i run it see every run it will give you the current timestamp okay so if i run it again here if you see this time is changing okay so guys here if you see every run it will give you different different timestamp okay so basically what what will happen so whenever you will be like uh, training your model okay training your model uh, it will create a folder with the timestamp okay current timestamp and it will save all the callbacks okay it will save all this uh, your model okay checkpoints all the like logs of the tensor board everything it will save in the same timestamp folder but suppose you are running for the second time okay you are training for the second time it will again create another timestamp folder okay inside this uh your uh artifacts okay inside this folder called uh tensor uh, tensor board uh, okay log directory and inside that it will save all the logs okay so instead of just uh you can say replacing my uh, current directory okay i'm creating different different directory so that i can compare okay like which time actually i ran okay which model so that's actually this is very much important okay so now i hope you got it okay now one thing i also prepared this thing like tv logs at this timestamp okay why i have given this name so let me show you so if you just write it like that okay instead of timestamp if you just write it like that so basically what you are giving uh you are just giving this thing as a f string tv log at uh okay now you are providing timestamp now if i execute now see before the timestamp it is also giving this uh, string okay so that i can uh, just uh, just for readability okay i'm just giving this name okay now i hope this uh, thing is clear like how i prepared this uh, uh like uh, tensorboard callbacks property okay now similar wise i also need to create this uh, uh create checkpoint callbacks okay so this uh method actually will, so this method actually is responsible for uh saving your model okay so here if you see create uh, uh checkpoints callbacks so here i'm calling uh tensorflow okay keras callbacks model checkpoints so here you just need to give the path so here i have already defined the path okay so this is my checkpoint directory and uh here one parameter you need to save which is nothing but best uh save best only okay so what is save best only save best only is nothing but it will only save your best model okay because every iteration it will save different different model it, it will uh save like different different checkpoints but i only need the best model okay or like from that so so this uh, method is responsible for saving the best model okay only now these two method i already prepared now here if you see i'm calling this method like that i'm not giving any parenthesis because i have defined this method as property property like you can say uh, uh, method okay property decorator i'm using so this thing is done now let me execute this cell so this is this is my like you can say component only okay now after that what i need to do i also need to uh, write my pipeline okay so let's write this pipeline 
just for testing well let's see whether it's working or not so uh, that's how actually you need to define the pipeline so basically i'm calling by configuration manager okay configuration manager from that actually i'm calling this get uh, prepare callbacks configuration here if you see okay then after that i'm calling my co components name which is nothing but prepared callback okay and it will take your uh, like you can say this uh, callbacks configuration and after that i'm defining one object okay then i'm calling this final method which is nothing but get a uh, tensorboard checkpoint callbacks okay it will execute one by one okay all this uh, two now if i execute this thing Okay, it's giving configuration manager is not defined. Okay, so I think we haven't run this cell configuration manager. Okay, now if I execute it again, okay, now see it has run. Let me delete this cell. Okay, now if I show you inside my artifacts, so here you see it has created one folder called prepare callbacks. Okay, inside that it has created checkpoint directory and my tensorboard log directory. Okay. And here you won't be seeing any file uh, this model.h5 because we haven't started the training yet okay whenever we'll be starting the train at the time you will see okay all these files okay inside that so yes guys i hope you got it like how we have prepared this uh like you can say callbacks okay like our uh, tensorboard callbacks and why it is important okay and this thing would be very much clear whenever i will start the training so at the time you will see it will save all the logs okay uh, uh as well as your model okay so uh, this thing is completed now in our next video we'll be starting uh, like you can say writing uh, as my python script everything will be just copy pasting and we'll be like uh, writing here okay as my modular coding so before ending this uh, video what i need to do i also need to commit these are the changes because we haven't committed yet so let me open my terminal so here first of all let me clear then i will just write git add then just write git commit hyphen m git commit hyphen m uh, let's give the message uh, callback callbacks added okay then i will just write git push origin main so yeah guys it's done now if i open my github so here if you see it has already committed everything okay so yes guys uh, this is all about uh, from this video okay i hope you got it okay so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time